Hey, uh, this is the review. So this is what we're going to be doing in class on, on Tuesday, December 8th. Tuesday, December 8th in class. So uh, we're going to solve this one-step uh, equations. Of course, we can get to A minus 5. To uh, isolate the variable A, we got to add 5 to both sides. So we're going to add, uh, add 5. Of course, it's to both sides, and then we get uh, A uh, equals negative 2. And that's, uh, that, of course, is your answer. Here, we are uh, we got B plus 12. All right, so pause, answer it, and then come back to make sure I get the same thing. All right, so when I add, check that, when I subtract 12, then I get, uh, then I get B equals negative 19. All right. So again, I'm going to look and see what uh, what do I have to do to solve this. How do I isolate the variable? So when you get the answer, come on back. Divide by 4. And when I do that, I get uh, C. Check that. I don't want to divide by 4. I want to divide by negative 4. So 74 divided by negative 4, I'm using my calculator, right? Yeah. Uh, 74 divided by negative 4, 18 and a half. It doesn't always come out pretty. Well, that would be negative, right? Different signs. Negative 18 and a half. Okay. So what do you do here? Pause and solve it. Okay, multiply. By the 5, because that's what we're dividing by. And then my, uh, my negative 7.2 times 5 will give me my answer. So, uh, so negative 35 and 1 would be negative 36. Okay, 7.2 times 5. Signs are different. Answer is negative. Multi-step, uh, like uh, like for uh, E and for F, we're going to get rid of the uh, constant terms first. So add 15. When I add 15 to both sides, I get 2E equals 8. Then I'm ready to divide by 2. And I get E, that's 4. Right? I'm going to have 8 minus 15. It's going to give me negative 7. So, same thing over here. If you read your constant term first, and then this time multiply by 3. So, let's subtract 8. And that gives me my F over 3 equal to... 5 minus 8 is going to be negative 3. And then I'm going to uh, multiply by 3 to under the dividing. That gives my f equal to negative 9. Right? So negative 9 divided by 3 is going to be negative 3 plus 8. That's how I get 5. When you have parentheses like you do here, um, and I see that negative 14 is not evenly divisible by negative 4. I'm going to uh, I'm going to multiply this out. So I'm going to go negative 4g and negative 4 times 8 is 32. So negative 32, and that's going to equal the negative 14. Now I'm going to work like I did for the one right up above. I'm going to add 32. And when I do that, I get the negative 4g equals what's negative 4, is that, is that 18? Right, and then I'm ready to divide by negative 4. And I'll get my g uh, equal to 4.5, or um, check that, negative, right? Boy, you got to be careful, right? Negative 4.5. 
Hi, last one here. Uh, when you have a division bar and you have a uh, expression for the numerator, you got to multiply first. So the first thing I'm going to do is multiply. Multiply by 5. And when I do that, my h minus 6 is going to be equal to 10. So add 6, and I get my h of 16. So I hope this helps. Try the uh, homework, and, uh, and we'll go from there.